Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the top five budget flip front helmets. Flip front helmets, they're not for everyone, but they are incredibly popular and really for quite a few different reasons. They're very practical as you can show your face without taking your helmet off, or you can open the front to let in a little bit more air. Although with some helmets, it's not legal to ride with the chin bar up, which I'll explain in a bit more detail later on. So riders who wear glasses are probably the people who love flips the most as you can put a flip front on and take it off again without having to take your specs off. If budget isn't your biggest priority, then we've made a separate video about best flip fronts regardless of price, and there should be a link popping up for that now. But you don't have to splash the cash to get a great flip. The five in this video are all available for £200 or less as we record this, and we've chosen them mostly based on the scores in reviews by our customers, but with one wildcard helmet that I've thrown in as I reckon it's well worthy of a place in any top five. If we've made a more in-depth video about any of the helmets here, then you'll see links popping up as we go through, and they're also in the description below. Right, let's crack into these five budget flip front heroes. HJC's i90 is right at the top of our price threshold, but thankfully it has the quality to back it up. The shell is made from polycarbonate and the lifting mechanism sits the chin bar firmly in place on top of the lid. It's dual homologated so you can legally ride with the chin bar up and there's no lever to fix it in place as there's enough resistance here anyway. There's a good level of venting, it comes with a Pinlock 70 anti-mist insert in the box and there's also a sun visor with a good amount of depth to it. The comfort lining, which is all removable, has a comfy quality fabric covering it over the top as well. It's prepared for HJC's smart intercoms, but also it's easy to fit a universal comm system. And if you prefer that way, that's really easy to do with this lid. It's certified to the ECE 2205 standard for the road, and it achieved three stars out of five in the UK government's sharp impact testing scheme. Of the 61 reviews left for the i90 on Sports Bike Shop, 49 owners gave it five stars. The most common criticism is over noise, with nine people mentioning that, but there are also six people who say it's quiet, so it just goes to show that you never know how much noise you'll get from any lid until you get out and riding it on your bike. One thing that's only fair to point out with this helmet, to stay under the £200 threshold for this video, you'll need to buy an i90 in a plain colour as the graphics bust the budget by 20 quid as we record this. LS2's strobe isn't just a little bit under our £200 threshold, it's less than half that, costing £89.99 as we record this, and that makes it one of the cheapest flip fronts around. But that doesn't come through if you read the feedback from customers who've left a review for their strobe. On the whole, there's really positive feedback for this lid. Of the 53 reviews posted on Sports Bike Shop, 33 of them are five-star reviews, and then another 19 give four stars. People like the comfort and the weight. This size medium weighs in at 1,639 grams, which is pretty respectable for a flip. Now, there is a swell of opinion that people should order a size bigger than they would normally, but there are also people who say they did that and that it backfired on them and they ended up having to swap back to their normal size. So from trying this one, I'd say that the strobe is quite a compact helmet. This one fits me around the head, but it doesn't come down far enough for my liking and it doesn't leave me much room around my face. So I'd say this is one where trying on before you buy is even more important than ever. This lid isn't dual homologated, so it can only legally be worn with the chin bar down and it doesn't have a pinlock insert, but an insert will fit and it's 29 quid. So it's still only 120 pounds for the complete package. There's a sun visor, there's room for intercom speakers. It's approved to 2205 for the road and it's achieved three stars in the UK government's sharp impact tests. This is possibly the most popular flip front helmet in Britain right now. Kberg have been making budget flips for at least 21 years and this Duke 2 is their current headliner. So this helmet has had 637 reviews on our website, which is way more than any other lid. And 478 of those reviewers have given this helmet five stars. And it's not just our customers who give out five star reviews for this helmet. The Duke 2 has a five star rating as well from the UK government's Sharp Impact Testing Programme. And personally, I think that plays a big part in this lid's popularity. So it's a helmet that's less than 150 quid in its most basic colours, and it has that five star stamp that gives people confidence that they're getting really good protection. 
So having spent a bit of time wearing one of these lids, I find it to be a no frills helmet really. But if you bring it back to basics, then everything is here. It's dual homologated for use with the chin bar up or down. It comes with the pin lock insert in the box. There's a sun visor and it's even easy to fit an intercom to it. If you want a fuss free flip front for not a lot of money, then this is the one that hundreds of riders go for every year. And those customer reviews suggest they're very happy that they have. MDS helmets are a subdivision of AGV, so the idea with that is you get the technology from older AGV models, but with a cheaper price. This MD200 has been around for almost 10 years as we record this. It's got a plastic shell, the lifting mechanism is neat for the chin bar, and the lining's comfy. The sun visor also operates on a wheel on the left of the lid, which is really simple to use. It's not dual homologated, so it's only legal to ride with the chin bar closed. And after 62 customer reviews, it has an average rating of 4.6, with 39 of those reviewers giving it five stars. This helmet has fallen a bit by the wayside recently. Almost all of those reviews were written when this helmet cost less than 100 pounds. Now it sits at 130 quid. That puts it in competition with the Cabo Duke 2, and most people seem to prefer that helmet when it comes to the choice. Cabo comes with a pin lock insert too, which this lid doesn't. But the MDS is a decent lid, it's got a four star rating in the Sharp Impact tests, and it's still a decent option, especially if you find that that Kberg doesn't suit you. Now, this is the wildcard helmet I told you about at the beginning of the video. I'll lay a bet that most riders will see the Grex logo on this helmet and say something like, Grex, who are they? But if I did that with a Nolan logo, then people would recognize that. In essence, Grex are Nolan as they're part of the same group. When an entry-level Nolan helmet gets replaced in the range, that lid gets a mild spec tweak and it gets re-released as a Grex. So this Grex G9.2 is to all intents and purposes a Nolan N92 with a downgraded liner and a simple one-pull strap fastening buckle rather than the twin-pull system that came on that Nolan. There's also no chin curtain on this helmet. But the G9.2 is a pretty damn credible helmet for £169.99. It's got the same Lex and shell as used on all Nolan helmets. The chin bar has an extra layer of safety over other flips as you need to pinch these two buttons together to open it. It's dual homologated, so you can use it with the chin bar up or down. And there's a sun visor as well. There's no pin lock as standard, so adding one of those costs 30 quid, and that takes you right up to our £200 threshold. The liner isn't as plush as the old Nolan, but it still stands comparison with other helmets in this video. The fit of these helmets doesn't suit everyone, but if it works for you, then I would say this helmet gives very good value for money. Okay, so those are our top five best value flip front helmets. Personally, I think the quality of the HJC and of the Grex, they stand out in this grouping, but those two helmets are at the top end of the price scale. So I guess you might expect that to be the case. If what you want is a known quantity that's trusted by thousands of British riders, then it's the Kberg Duke 2 that stands out really. It does miss some luxuries and it's not as plush as the HJC or the Grex, but it covers all the basics. And what it also has is that five star sharp impact rating, which is a definite plus point. As always, I'd suggest trying as many helmets as you can before making a final decision. It doesn't really matter too much what I or anyone else thinks is a good helmet if it doesn't suit your head. And I should also point out to keep things fair that the list of helmets we've used for this guide is restricted to those where the list price is currently 200 pounds or less. So that means there might be helmets on clearance deals at the time you're watching this video, which will mean you've got quite a few more helmets to choose from. So what we've done for that reason is put a link in the description for this video that will take you to a complete list of flip front helmets on the Sports Bike Shop site that are available for 200 quid or less at the time that you click on that link. So I hope this list helps you, and most of all, I hope you find the helmet that's perfect for you, whichever one you end up choosing. Thanks for watching.